Hi, fifth graders. Today is Thursday, January 14th. Today we are going to be doing the send it back assignment and along with this writing. I know you already did this writing. I'm sorry I didn't realize your teachers were going to assign it. So my bad. But we're going to get going right away. Here is our story. Sending it back. Lewis's mother had ordered a new two new movies for him. One was The Secret of the Magician, and the other was The Crystal Cavern. Lewis was excited about the new movies, but when he tried to watch them, neither movie worked. He knew he would have to send them back, but he wasn't sure how to go about it, so he asked his mother to help. The first step, she told him, is to go to the company's website. We bought the movies from Movies and More, so let's start by going to that site. Lewis and his mother pulled up chairs to the computer and Lewis found the site. Now, said his mother, see if you can find a place for questions about orders. Lewis found a section called Orders and Shipping and clicked on that link. That section had instructions for returning merchandise. Lewis and his mother read the instructions. The first thing they did was complete a return form. After Lewis and his mother completed that form, they were ready to print a return label. They printed the label and got a box. Then Lewis put the movies in the box and sealed it up. Lewis and his mother took the box and the label to the post office where the label was attached to the box. Now what happens? Lewis asked his mother as they prepared to go home. His mother replied, The next thing that will happen is that the company will get the movies back. Then they'll send us new copies of the movies. How long is that going to take, Lewis wanted to know. The website says the process takes two to four weeks, so it's not going to happen immediately. But it won't be awfully long, his mother answered. And she was right. Three weeks later, Lewis got brand new copies of The Secret of the Magician and The Crystal Cavern. And this time, they worked. Oh, you couldn't see me read any of that last page, but you have it. Okay. Our questions now. So we've got some questions that we need to do. I'm going to make this go up just a smidge so I can shade my paper. And I'm going to refocus it. Okay, this text is a fictional, unrealistic account of how to return an item online. Is this unrealistic, like it could never happen this way? Or do you think this is realistic, like, yeah, maybe that's how you do return stuff? A, a fictional realistic account of how to return it, or B, sorry, a fictional realistic account of how to return an item online. Could this be a realistic? Yeah, I would say so. C, nonfiction is meant to describe how the internet company works. So it's like giving you detailed facts. Like you go to this IT address, you type in this, this is how it works. Is it kind of like more facts or do you, is it more of a fictional story? Nonfiction, it's meant to describe how to return things. We're just giving details. It doesn't have any other type of story going on that could be made up. What do you think? Two, the author probably, A, experienced a broken product and had to return it. Do you think that the authors experienced that if they know how to handle it? Probably. Let's see the rest though. B, never returned anything. He has never returned anything ever. C, returned all sorts of things through the mail, or D, been sailing around the world. <laughs> Do you think he's been sailing around the world? Three, if only one of the movies had not worked, Lewis would have A, returned only the broken movie, B, been happy with just the one movie, C, taken a bus to the movie company, or D, returned both movies just to be sure. Would you return both if only one was broken? Four. How does Lewis probably feel about having to send back his movies? How do you think he feels about that? A. Excited. B. Disappointed. C. Jealous. Or D. Proud. Five. What is probably true about Lewis? A. He is used to computers. Like, he's used them before. B. He does not like movies. C. He is angry with his mother. Do we have any hints that he was mad at her? 
Or D, he does not like to ask questions. Which one best fits this? Six, this text is an example of A, a character with a problem but no solution. So he does not solve his problem. Does that fit this? B, a character resolving problems for other characters. C, a character creating a conflict for other characters to solve. So he's the one creating a problem. Or D, a character experiencing a conflict and then resolving it. So does he have an issue and then he fixes it? That's kind of what this is saying. Okay, once you're done this with this page, flip over. Um, and your question for today is, have you ever had to send anything back? Write about what happened. So maybe you got something, you had to return it. It doesn't need to be through the mail and just returned in general. If you ever had to return something, maybe it didn't fit. Maybe it was broken. Especially now with COVID and all that, you might be ordering stuff online more. Um, or maybe you got a gift once and it wasn't exactly right, so you had to return it. Has it ever happened? If not, tell me how you would feel about it. Okay, so you're like, no, I've never returned anything. Well, then how do you think it would feel? What would you do? Okay, two sentences. And then next sheet is the snow one. Snowstorm frustration. So you need to think about the character, the setting, the problem and solution, cause and effect. So cause and effect could be because it snowed outside, Jimmy here had to shovel. He got stuck shoveling and he is angry about it. So talk about that. Where is he? Do you think he's in Hawaii or do you think he's most likely in Minnesota? Okay, so you need to write about this using cause and effect um, and his snowstorm frustration. Okay, maybe he really wanted to watch TV, but instead his mom said, Jimmy, get outside and shovel that snow. That's why he looks kind of unhappy. Okay, so that is what you need to do today. If you are needing any more help with it, just let me know and we can meet. Um, keep up the great work though. Bye.